We hear a lot about self-care these days and I imagine that when you're going through the fertility journey, it's something that's very important. So Elise, as a counsellor, I imagine you see this all the time in your practice. Mm, absolutely, that self-care, it, it needs to be a priority um, and perhaps be thought about at the beginning of the journey. Now, what things do you find are useful to people and how do they actually help their journey? Mm. Well, there's not a one-size-fits-all approach, I would say. It's, it is different for different people, um, but fundamentally it's around what makes you feel good or what makes you feel more resilient or a little bit more lifted. You know, there's some very um, simple things that people can often do, um, whether it's uh, factoring in time for some exercise, taking the dog for a walk, um, finding a place in nature that you enjoy that leaves you feeling really soothed or invigorated again. Now when we look at self-care, how does it differ whether you're single and you might be looking at something like egg freezing or if you're in a relationship and you might be looking at IVF? Well look, I think for both actually, for individuals and for um, those in a relationship, you do, you do need a broader support network. That might be even that bit more essential for somebody who is going through treatment as an individual. Just ensuring that you know who your support network network may be, who who can be helpful to you at this time, who can listen, who can be empathetic. Um, but look also that can be very useful for, for those in a couple as well. But look, if you're going through treatment with a partner, I think another aspect of that is finding ways to ensure that you keep in touch with your partner and keeping sort of in touch with each other um, emotionally, but perhaps also making time for having fun. I think that can get a bit forgotten about. And what about the role of counselling? Yeah, I mean I would say that's a very very useful part of um, the treatment that uh, you know you, you need to be looked after physically but you also need to be looked after emotionally and that is what the counselling uh, team is, is here to support patients with. Now as women we often associate this idea of self-care with being selfish. Mm. How do we shift that mind space? Yeah, I think it is. I think it is important actually to, to just realise that this is fundamental to you f feeling as supported, as as, as healthy, um, as as resilient as you can in moving forward with with treatment. That it's not um, it's not frivolous or um, or selfish uh, to really focus on that, um, but it can make a big difference in how you feel during your treatment. Mm -hmm.